you something else I would do? What's that? Take a picture of all the cars. Uh huh. While they're still clean? Yeah, that yeah. I don't think I brought my hammer. Then afterwards, right. take another picture. Yeah, I'll do that. How's this working out? No, it's coming. There's a uh, hammer for that pickle fork that you got. There she is. Hebrew John Van Rooten in person in Atlanta. Working on one. That should be a 19 down there. I like them boots or pimp. My shit kicking nut numbers? Yeah. Pretty tight. Yeah. Like it's a good look for you for Bahan. Oh, yeah. There's so much mud's in the bottom of them, though. Alright, so everybody's tires are going to be looking like here before I too know. long. They have like quarter inch grooves in them. Yeah. 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 Because of your overflow there. Because when I left, I checked it, it was well below full. Now look at it. It's way above full. How is your temperature gauge doing? Halfway. Oh, yeah? If I was running in the air, what the hell caused it up? Now look at it. It's way up there. Huh. I wonder if it'll suck back down. But I mean, we were running 62. So that's pretty thick green there. Yeah. Yeah, but when I checked it last night, it was, it was below the full. And now it's way above here. Hmm. So we definitely come back through now. I wonder what causes that. Oh, uh, maybe it built up enough pressure that it spewed back out there. I was running the air there too. Yeah, I might suck it back in. Yeah. Now this car will show a lot of mud being as clean yeah, and white it as is it is. Low, Miles. Look, the radiator is low. Oh yeah? You want some water? I got some water. Yeah. We might want to cut it down a little bit of water anyway, because water is what actually does the See? cooling. See, and if you look at it here, it's low, but if you look at it here, it's high, so it definitely... Well, if I start it up, if it'll suck it through it. Yeah, I might have to have the cap on it to do that. I'd add some straight water to it, what I would do. I got some in the back of the car if you want it. Yeah, I didn't bring the water. Hey, I got two gallons of it. it ain't coming out, man. Well, which end? Out. The knuckle end or the lower control arm end? Either lower or. control arm end. Yeah. 
You haven't, the pickle fork ain't working? No, it's like if the pickle fork bottoms out, it's not yeah, wedgy enough, you know what I mean? Maybe you need a bigger hammer. That's what I said, but. Yeah, get some more dead blow to it rather than just quick, sharp blows. Yeah. That's the biggest one I got, it's that one. Well, I'll order these guys around here have one. 36 ounce or whatever. Look at that big old ass truck. Straight just chugging through it. like a fucking hand sledge, you know, like a three pound hand yeah, sledge. Yeah, maybe one of these guys, ask the guy up there with the flag on his shirt, see what he's got. That's the best I can Break the bar. Balls, what's that water at? Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why that did that. I mean, I guess if it needs it, I guess it's... Maybe, it. maybe the coolant's too thick. Good thing. I changed my temperature sensor and lost a little bit of coolant. The level went down. It seems to run cooler. It's not plum plum full. Damn. When was the last time you checked this one? Last night. No, but it was there and the radiator was full. Maybe I didn't check the radiator. But... I didn't use that much water. Jesus Christ, still up to there. Yeah. How's the time gauge on here? Quarter of the way, but I just started it. No, all the way down, about halfway. Staying right there, even running the air. Hmm. Yeah. Still in. If you can get it to pull away from the knuckle end, maybe you can pop the bottom half of it out with a hammer from the stud. Try pounding on the lower control arm itself. Jack up the ball joint by the stud, and then tap on the lower control arm. Gotta do a couple like that at the Carbola. That's my off the side of the road jack. technique without a pickle fork. I got another jack, I actually got two of them. Oh, we got one right there. Is yours hydraulic or scissor? Scissor. Put the scissor under the body, use a hydraulic under the uh, ball joint. That mud pit, that's red gray. See what you got there? When you, if you guys go through that, once you get going, just... keep it moving. Yeah, keep it going. Don't don't stop for nothing. Yeah. Make sure you're in the right gear before you get in it too. Yeah. Is that rear drive truck? It's rear wheel drive. Oh, that's ten. Yeah. Where's the trash wagon? Do that shit again. The RX has a bent license plate, busted fog light, and uh, side trim is removed partially. All easily fixable. You didn't crack the air dam at all, did you? I said you didn't crack the front wing, did you? No, uh, the side wing. I like side pop the screw off, that's it. You could probably remove that stuff if you're worried about breaking it up at all. I'm just gonna be a little more careful. Yeah, keep in mind that front dam, that'll get uh, those front fog lights too. I had uh, lights mounted underneath my bumper and I sheared them clean off. Hopefully it's not stripped out. Yeah, the best way to do is to mount them above the bumper or mount them up inside the turn signal, up inside the turn signals.